Sometimes people may treat you differently because they know you're aware of their actions. They'll act awkward, hesitant, or even try to avoid you because of the things they did in secret. When someone knows you've seen through their lies and manipulation, they may feel foolish. They'll remember all those moments they plotted and acted against you, thinking you were unaware. Now they see that you knew all along, and that can be unsettling for them. They might have acted confidently before, but realizing they can't fool you leaves them feeling exposed. They may wish they could be real with you now, but they didn't have the courage to be honest from the start. Sometimes it takes God revealing the truth for them to finally see their own behavior clearly. When someone treats you poorly, knowing you never took revenge, they may feel even more guilty. You could have retaliated, but you chose not to, and that's why God is going to bless you greatly. God saw every chance you had to seek revenge and noted your choice to let it go. That decision opened up blessings for you beyond what you could imagine, blessings tailored to your deepest needs. God knows your heart, your needs, and the perfect timing to answer. As you wait for your blessing, remember this. Not everyone who brings you negative stories or gossip is trustworthy. Anyone willing to bring you negativity is often willing to spread it elsewhere. Be careful who you let bring you news. True loyalty doesn't come with gossip and negativity. When someone talks to you about others, ask yourself what they say when you're not around. Sometimes it's essential to confront someone who brings gossip. Ask them, what did you say when others were speaking against me? If someone claims to be close to you but spends time with people who dislike you or envy you, that's a red flag. How can they be loyal to you while befriending those who wish you harm? When such a person returns to you with stories of what others said about you, it raises questions about their own loyalty and integrity. True loyalty doesn't look like that. Someone who constantly stirs discord is not a genuine friend. They may have realized you knew the truth all along, yet you chose to stay silent and trust God to handle the situation. This choice unsettles them because they recognize that despite having the chance to retaliate, you didn't. Instead, you chose to pray for them, following the guidance to bless those who wrong you. Blessings come from obedience to God, while disobedience brings consequences. We should strive, as King David did, to keep our hearts pure. We ask God to cleanse us, to renew our spirit, and to help us act with sincerity. Sometimes people do good things for selfish reasons, hoping to gain something for themselves. It's wise to keep this in mind and choose your company carefully. When people realize that you knew all along about their actions, that you weren't blind to the hurtful things they did or said behind your back, they often feel uncomfortable. It's dangerous for someone to think they can deceive a person with true discernment and a close relationship with God. Just because you stayed humble doesn't mean you didn't notice their behavior. You saw it, you heard it, but you chose peace. Remember, some people may envy what you have, even the blessings and strengths that God has given you, but no one can take away what is truly yours because it's God-given. Stay focused on what matters, your soul. What good is it to gain the world's material comforts if it means losing what is truly valuable? Keep your heart set on what lasts. God reminds us that gaining everything in the world means nothing if we lose our soul. Our purpose is to live the life we were created for, fulfilling our unique assignment. We each have a destiny calling us forward. People enter our lives either to bless us or to teach us a lesson, and it's important to understand the difference. Pray for wisdom to recognize when someone is a true blessing and when they are simply a lesson to help you grow. Not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever. Some relationships are temporary, meant only for a season. People may try to keep things hidden, but with the Holy Spirit, we can sense the truth. Some call it gut instinct, but it's really God guiding us. Pay attention to this inner voice. It reveals things to protect and prepare you. Trust that God is speaking, showing you insights for your path. Leave behind anything that's held you back and step into a fresh chapter with a renewed mind. If you want change, it starts with transforming your thoughts. As we think, so we become. How do you view yourself? What do you believe about your potential? Speak life over your situation, even if it hasn't shown fruit yet. Keep speaking positive things, and it will come to pass. Some people around you may realize that you've known about their actions all along. 
They might start avoiding you, embarrassed that their attempts to deceive you have been clear to you the whole time. But you didn't need to expose them because you trusted God to handle it. You reminded yourself of God's promise to protect you and let him take control. Knowing God's word is your greatest weapon. It empowers you to stand strong against any attack. The devil can take advantage only when we lack knowledge. If you don't know that abundance is part of your right, you might believe you're meant to struggle forever, but that isn't true. While not everyone will be wealthy, God blesses us according to our faith. Keep your eyes open and trust that God is revealing the true intentions of those around you. Not everyone who says they care about you truly does. Just because someone says they like or love you doesn't mean their actions match their words. Look at how they treat you. Actions speak louder than words. You should never have to beg for love, support, or respect. If someone isn't showing these things, it's because they simply choose not to. Many ask me, why doesn't this person call me or show appreciation? The answer is hard but simple. They don't value you as much as you deserve. It's essential to face the truth and let go of the hurt that doesn't belong to you. When God sends warning signs, take note and adjust accordingly. People around you might realize now that you've known their true intentions all along. They may pull away, feeling embarrassed because they thought they could deceive you. Realizing that you've been aware of their behavior can make them feel foolish, as if they lost a rare gift without even knowing it. When God gives you a blessing or gift, hold on to it with care. Don't gamble with what God has given you, thinking it can easily be replaced. True blessings don't come around every day, and losing them can lead to lifelong regret. Many people discover this too late, thinking they could replace something special, only to end up with far less. Value what God places in your life and keep it close, just as you would cherish your own purpose and strength. Thank you for being part of this journey with us. Your support on this channel helps us reach more hearts and bring healing to those who need it. Remember, with God's strength, you can overcome anything. Speak life over your future. Your words are powerful. You are a creator of your own path. If you don't like where you are, start by changing your thoughts and words. Keep affirming your goals, believing they will come true, and stay obedient to God as you wait for your circumstances to shift. Your breakthrough is on its way. Affirm this, my change is coming. When God brings you out, don't look back. Remember how long you endured the wilderness, how many difficult moments you had to overcome, and how often you cried and prayed. Think about the people who could have reached out to you but chose not to. Understand that God allowed it this way. He didn't want them involved in your journey. Now some people will avoid you, feeling ashamed because they know you're aware of everything they did behind your back. Keep love in your heart. Love is the key, and it's not about whether someone deserves it. Just as we don't deserve all the goodness and blessings from God, we are loved because of His grace and kindness. Whatever you need, give it first, and it will return to you, overflowing. Serving God isn't about seeking rewards or wealth, it's about giving and serving others. Each of us is here for a purpose, to share our unique gifts with the world. Your gifts will make space for you. Embrace them fully and trust that change begins from the inside out. When you shift your mindset and affirm positive change, your entire world will transform. Start each day by speaking affirmations over yourself, commanding positivity and growth in your life. Even on days when you don't feel it, speak it into existence until it becomes real. Many may feel foolish now, realizing that you've always known about their actions. They may have hidden their betrayal and disrespect, but you trusted God for justice. Now, your healing, success, and peace are your vindication. Those who look down on you now look up, seeing the life you've built. Stay humble, for a humble heart receives the blessings of God abundantly. Keep moving forward with love and grace, 